suppose the most important thing is that we didn't want to make just a survival story. Um, we wanted to make a story that audiences, every, none of us are going to be down a canyon and have our hand trapped by a boulder, but all of us can be in a situation where we have regrets and second thoughts and wish we'd done things differently. Um, I suppose that for us was a very important part of the story, that you have all those layers of the past that, that everyone in the cinema can relate to. So those bits were very important to us. Were you approaching the movie more as you know, a man versus himself rather than a man versus nature? Well, that's an interesting question. I would say very much so, yeah. Yeah, very much so. I never thought that it's a wilderness movie. I always thought of it as because he's trapped in a, in a corridor that he can't see anything. So I thought if we kept cutting to shots of, you know, to kind of open it up or to kind of like relieve the boredom, if we cut to shots of the landscape, it'd be fake really in a way because he couldn't see anything really. He was just stuck down there. And we thought we'll get all that over with in the beginning, you know, trying to sum up what his life is like. He's 27, he's a kind of ultra marathon guy, runs three marathons in a run. You know, climbs a 14,000 foot peak in winter on his own, and you know he's just got everything going for him. And we'll, we'll try and do that at the beginning, and then we'll get, then we'll embrace how limited everything is, and and hopefully, if you've been caught by it by then, you will as well. That you'll enter that if you got a, a, a good enough actor, you'll you'll go with that as well.